Cryptocurrency price swings are shown in this video. I understand that we will speak. Important cryptocurrency exchanges like Ripple and its stablecoin are moving forward politically in weeks, not months, and regulatory developments are following suit. The future of cryptocurrency is bright, so let's jump right into the data. At 5,641 USD, Bitcoin is 4.15% lower than it was 24 hours ago. Ethereum price is at 2.41, down 4.37%. The current XRP levels for USDT and USDC are both set at their respective markets. The price has fallen 3.2% to $0.55, which is good news for you. Get yourself some Bitcoin or leather coasters, people, because you're going to need your XRP cup. Among the most valuable assets, cryptocurrency has seen the least degree of decline, with a market valuation of $2 trillion at present. There is a single cup here, and you know it. The Whiskey Kid is indeed at my door. One cup is indeed what we're offering for sale. 40 light blues are now on sale for $24.99. This price applies regardless of where you buy them or when you buy them. All major credit cards and cryptocurrencies are accepted. Take a look at it. It was my intention to showcase this. The ambience is being changed by using this Yabba Dabba Doo from H Scooby Doo, not the original Yabba Dabba Doo. Check it out. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, that's not my style. Let me tell you right now. I refuse to go head first into the middle of this lake. Oh no, I'm grateful, please, let me retrieve Belle, she seems to be saying. This is when Amy made a really assertive remark, this is not the place. Her account suggests this is her way of reacting to Ripple's rejection of smart contracts. After Ripple's comeback and announcement of plans to integrate smart contracts, people's anger only grew. People will always be dissatisfied, in my opinion, because no multinational organization can ever be truly successful. Take that as a lesson. After Amazon found success with book sales, Ripple focused solely on cross-border payments based on this understanding. According to Amy, the following step was obvious to you. Is Ripple's current approach meeting their needs? Dear Degas Investor, I agree with you completely. He casually mentioned something from the past. Is the cross-payment process finished? Is their presence already felt in the new digital financial ecosystem? Do they now intend to increase their foothold in some other part of the cryptocurrency market? With a puzzled expression on his face, he asked her how. Kendra Hill managed to keep this post in her memory. Think of Ripple's testing and preparation for the use case that has captivated them from the beginning as a great chance to test and prepare for cross-border payments. Ripple aspires to manage every single derivatives market transaction. They aren't ready or present, which is the main reason they've decided not to make this information public. Now we know that Codius is an important piece. How much do we learn? Despite the $27 million loss and the 40% drop in PP, David Schwartz feels that exciting days are coming, especially when a bull market arises and stated yesterday that Ripple will be offering smart contracts on the XRPI. PNP drops by 40%. Another asset was purportedly removed as a result of a hack involving the PNP token. However, I am unfamiliar with PNP. Tornado money. To rephrase, this is a huge sham. With $27 million, this ploy makes you wonder and bewilder. Had we fallen victim to a hack? Possibly the theft of $27 million in tornado funds was the result of an inside job and fraud. It scatters your transactions among a myriad of others, causing them to become jumbled and difficult to trace. The news is breaking. Both Donald Trump and Kamala Harris have enlisted the help of influential crypto industry members in crafting their crypto policy. Although Trump's position on cryptocurrencies is well known, the noteworthy part of this situation as revealed by the Coinbase executive is that Kamala Harris also declares her enthusiastic support. You are already familiar with Kamala Harris's squad when she comes to the forefront. The crewies, it seems that Trump's disclosure of an NFT collection is what sparked this reaction as Sue opens. See, because contrary to assertions made in the 1960s, artwork and digital art did not pose any security dangers. Listen up, we've been involved on every front we spoke with Trump and Harris's campaigns as they developed cryptocurrency policies and started engaging with coin voters. Crypto voters, let's talk about the political climate. The political climate of cryptocurrencies will be our primary emphasis, particularly in view of President Trump's decision to endorse the sector. For the first time, Gary Gensler's employment is going to end. America should help develop the future, not hinder it. And I will appoint a new chairman of the SEC who shares this view. A presidential advisory council dedicated to Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies will be formed by me. However, in 2024, Coinbase will lead all corporate contributors in the cryptocurrency industry. 
It is with much gratitude that we announce the addition of Paul Gruwal, chief legal officer of the organization. While details on Harris's campaign remain sketchy, you may have been keeping up with former President Trump's fresh strategy for a possible presidential run. So far as I can see, the Harris campaign is doing a better job of getting people involved when it comes to this election. What are their plans for that side? Be graceful when you say good morning. Throughout the process of crafting crypto policies and engaging with crypto voters, we have remained in close contact with the Trump and Harris campaigns. With regard to digital assets and cryptocurrencies, the Trump campaign has certainly been louder and has advocated for concrete, specific measures. The fact that the present government, headed by Gary Gensler, continues to pursue regulations gives us hope. The Harris campaign, on the other hand, has taken an interest in and begun conversations about possible new ways of approaching digital currency and cryptocurrencies as a whole. Looking at what the public might expect, it seems like exciting times are ahead. How do we know if somebody are being truthful or not? To get a better idea, check out the report from the leading us cryptocurrency exchanges that will be at Swell in Miami. Swell is coming up in less than a month and Coinbase will be there. Gemini Kraken dare two chief security officers and one chief of trust and safety make up the team. Purportedly, it makes logic. It is currently expected that XRP can offer on-demand liquidity in the U.S. after obtaining regulatory clarification. This is done in the hopes of future partnerships involving changes to user experience. In the next months, I am eagerly anticipating the official launch of these financial alliances and the actions that Bank of America and PNC Bank will take, we anticipate an announcement from Ripple CEO in the next few weeks, rather than months. I regret to inform you that this is the schedule. The RLUSD is set to replace the US dollar peg as the stablecoin of the future. I told you my predictions will come true and I still think this has a good chance of succeeding. Its impending live launch has already been marked by testing on Ethereum and the XRP ledger, which we are aware of. From what I can see, this is when things begin to heat up, and then the smoke comes in and turns it off. This is a big deal. On a global scale, this is a major regulatory concern. We are looking forward to digital assets being regulated more. Precisely. In 2024, the United States might enact national laws regarding digital assets and stable currency. Impending regulatory clarification on a worldwide scale is the subject of this essay. In my opinion, the rest of the globe will follow the United States' lead once it publishes its digital strategy, the path. If you follow SLS's lead, you should expect regulations to be more clear in general. These companies have worked tirelessly shaping the new digital landscape that everyone is watching, and I believe this will only help them succeed. A major change in institutional finance is imminent, in my opinion. Assuming it materializes, I anticipate a shift away from the stock market and toward cryptocurrencies. It is possible that the market cap will exceed $20 trillion by the end of this bull cycle. In this case, the market would likely go up. If this Bitcoin bull run continues, it will be the last one. In my opinion, they will start acting more like the traditional stock and bond markets.